Um, I think they needed damage. Like, that's why I liked Brame's bans more. I didn't, like... ...on Wish. That's, I think, the biggest one to set the tempo for them to start actually making those big aggressive moves. Speaking of auto. aggressive moves, it looks like they're gonna try to put the pressure down here onto S4, and oh that is, uh, gonna be a kill. Kaskin now forced to retreat here, and yeah. She did not even hit the tower once. Limp actually went back to base, came back, and Wish never hit the tower with DK form. That's a bit weird. His bottom... Kaskin, he's sticking down. He's got the shards, though. Uh -oh. Looks like they were gonna tell Teleport down, but he's, he's, he's stuck. stuck. <laughs> Item Morbid Mask. I actually think this is pretty cool versus the ET. You can actually fight back. FNG, however, cannot fight back. I mean, he could try, but he's still going to die either way. Better to protect my tower here than spend too much time top. Yeah, they're moving, the, they're making the rotation. Here comes Hanskin. Do they have a TP available from FNG? They don't, but they're gonna bring the neck. Yeah, they've got the Gene Quad. They've sent him up. There's gonna be the shards. Toss back here. Can they get off enough damage to take down Witch? He's very, very tanky. Over the back lines, though, they've got the side down. We'll go Wish. Nice TP from S4. Very needed. As we said, he's probably gonna be the biggest damage that is coming out from the team in the early game. So nice move as they do shut down DK, and he's dead for decent amount of time. Decision by Limp, is, it's, it is really good because top Nico Baby had the lane kind of forcing him to him too. And you, like you said, the uh, ET was kind of backing up. So it was just like, it was perfect read from him to make the move. But now Spartan's six pretty early here on this Willow. He wants to make a nice, nice aggressive move up here. I guess the Skylark with those phase moves just chasing down FNG. Nice ice path though, we'll connect over onto two. Boom. On the turn back around as the hunt is on as they get the kill on FNG. Can they get the kill on Spartan though is the question. No, Nico Baby just wants to back off. All gonna get wiped. They have such overwhelming damage on the side of Brim. Skylar. Goes for the Chronosphere here. Mouse Mob just popped and FNG joining in with a nice ice path, throwing down the macro pyre, bit of the body blocks here. Do they have enough damage? They're just chasing him down. It's like they should be able to pop him over there. And they do manage to get the fear off over onto S4, so he is going to back off. Go baby so active. Look at this. Hanskin's pinging the Rubik bottom, and he's like, yo, Nick, who can gank with me? And Nico's baby. Yeah, I'm the void carry, I'm coming. He's excited. He's a bloodthirsty face as well. That's what I want to see. Walrus punch. Snowball did get stolen, but he's going right back into the arms here of Hanskin. So we'll go back into his deck. I win all spells that he can get. This is why it's always a little risky to pick Jakiro because of the you know counter pick of that Rubik coming into play. And versus punch. He's got so many. It's the blink DK. That is the blink with the bedlam. With the cursed crown, they already used the brambles and a good snowball save though coming out for a little bit longer. So going to end up uh, killing S4 and Hanskin will also fall there. So, oops, maybe should have just accepted the fact that the necro is dead and up giving two, and now maybe even a third wish. Gets wish the he connection. wants the Jakiro, but uh, he's not gonna dive. Turn his attention now over to the tower. As the team is here, Macapire does get tossed out with the ice pouch. Just want to burn down these creeps if they can. Bring on that pressure. They don't like to let up. It's it's really not that easy because they can't just take buildings in the same manner. They don't have the best tower hitters. Like FNG, if he went max liquid fire, sure, but he's actually max dual breath, which I don't see very often. Usually you see like two points of dual breath for lane and oh. max. This is a dead handskin. Oh, you thought you were winning. I don't think he was expecting Wish to be there, and uh, they just used the whole kit there. Positioning. Dyer's top tower is They're under setting up attack. for top. Like, they don't want to lose tier two. Like, Brain pushes way faster, and they will grab focus under tower. Yep, Dream Coil comes out with the snap. The rest of the team is hot on his heels, although they do kind of whip a little bit over here. They'll be able to go draw the dual breath. That's going to be the reincarnation. As for getting ready, terrorized, getting wound up. Though. They managed to possess four back, but Nico, maybe he's here. They have the snowball. Do they have enough damage? Yes, they turn around with the rain fire. Can they get it? There it is. There's that side coming in hot and what he blinks away before Nico maybe can get the other thing. They stole the site and they managed to get the kill over onto Limp as well. And it feels like Alliance now a bit on the back foot. They're still looking for this perfect site that they will be able to go and get a Chronosphere off. But it feels a little bit like desperation as they get the lift the toss back. Spartan is still alive and healthy here. He's just trying to run out as S4 is hunting, which jumping forward over on the back line. Skylark is here and he's just wailing away over here on S4. The Yules will drive it down now. They'll be able to go and land the high step and they get another ice path right back at S4. He will fall. Roman is just stealing all the spells during these fights. Of everything else, too. Like, Brame is extremely ready to fight. They want this battle. Hey, on the low ground. Open up with the Brambles. Focus looking for this opening immediately. S4 is just getting nuked up by the Bedlam. He's not allowed to do anything in this fight. Stepping over onto the back line here to see Wish and Focus looking to just get as much damage as they can over to Hanskin. It's a good ice path, by but a bit more time. Hanskin running for his life. Spartan, of course, does see him. Winds up here with the Shadow Rub. It's still going to be Skylark who punches him with the briefcase. And now FNG is stuck over on the side, just trying to manage. Drops all of his spells, hoping, but no, it's not going to be enough. 
FNG will fall to focus and Nico Baby just continues to farm as fast as he possibly can. Play. They're all so grouped. They're so ready for these moves every single time here. Lanskin leading the charge, hoping they can find someone that does and find themselves. The Raiding King over here to get the ice path off. Drop the Bramble. Snowball coming in, just buying a bit more time. His wish jumps onto the back lines here. Does find FNG. Hanskin, though, gets chipped away and falls. Snowball gets stolen. FNG. There it is. That's a dead Jakira. Now S4 is running for his life. He's used the essence ring, but the rest of the side of Brain is just zeroing in on this poor, poor Necrophos, and he will fall. They can never team fight. That's really how it's feeling. Faceless Void has to start looking for the back lines, looking for these back targets. Spartan, trying to secure DD. It's gonna get Lars, but immediately with that shadow, rub the fall of the curse crown, the bed low. Zimko gets used over on the side, but it's just going to buy them a bit more time. It's more they defensive than anything else as they go. They get a steal over on the death pulse, but Focus is focusing down over on S4. He hasn't been allowed to play this game, it feels like. Go for the damage as they are set up. Level 18 on Wish, finds jump. Oh. Oh boy, they find themselves at base. Boy, the fear, the jump in, the first is there, and that's a dead Nico baby. They even go for that Earth Splitter, too. Oof. So, frequency of spouse. You know what, Nico baby says, screw it. We're not having fights happen anyway. I need to just get more gold, otherwise, we lose this game. 711 for the Rubik kill. That's how far behind they really are. fight over here on the side. Dream Coil coming out here from the Prince Trap. This cross over onto several. There's a beautiful ice pad into the map. They'll go back in again, Han Skin. The Walrus Punch comes out, but he already falls. Slice gets tossed out as well. This is looking like a dead S4. Oh, and Skylark just happens to uh, find FNG. Just what I was now there's no. We even have creeps in this base right now. They're just going right on in. More buybacks coming out. FNG, look at him. He wants to do something. He just, he just can't walk he up. Can't. He even he has the shard. Go. Like, he can't even with the attack range and the shard with Grobo, even. Oh. He can't attack them. The immediate sleep over onto Nico, baby. They'll turn back right over on Skin. Oh, oh my god. god. They just blow up Hans. Get Nico, baby, joining in here. Can they get the kill? Yes, they'll be able to take down Skylar. We've got that BKB. We've got those bastards like we talked about. Gonna turn his attention over onto Focus. His lift jumps over onto the back lines. Trying to just split up the fight. FNG getting off the dual blend. And then Lip. Dodging away here. It's got Ice Path. They need to watch how far they chase. They could get turned with Chain Stun. They're already pinging it. Yeah, look at this already. Oh, we only managed to get one, though. Go, <laughs> baby. Just kind of swirling around after folks. Dream Coil does get turned with to two, though. They'll be able to go. They snap it up, followed up with the Ice Path over the back lines. So focus just focusing down. Gets the kill on FNG, and now they'll turn it around against Stun. So that's still alive. Ice oh, he The Ice Path that he stole is still keeping him alive, although eventually he will fall. Which, of course, they've got the BKB. They've got the stuns out here. Can they finish up Nico? Maybe they'll be able to find the kill. Lip now orbing away. S4. Oh, no. Lip decides he wants to stick around. He's chasing after a wish. Ghost Shroud does come out here from S4. Trying to heal up. Focus. He's got those big boy crits. Though he's chasing after S4. Jumps over on that one. He wants Lip. Lip. He's so elusive, though. He's got to get his hands on him. He doesn't quite have it. A Spartan joining back in. He's looking, hoping that he can possibly drop down the brambles or some sort of root. Focus, though, running right back here into the base. Starts chonking away. He's going to be able to take down. Jumping in. Also, love this. Didn't point some, but he went for Halberd, so he has a way to break the Lincoln on the box. So we did see that stun coming into play. Focus. I think he's and fine with this. He's got the reincarnation. He's got Wish behind him with this dragon form. They're poking away at him, but he just jumps right back in. Max S4 in the teeth. And Alliance can't chase out. Boy, still not back up. They do live for a little bit longer. So the trap they run to Nico. They, I don't think they're still aware. Focus. Such a clumsy oh, fight. The jump Focus forward immediately over onto the Jakiro. They're just going to try to raid again, but they will find it. And over on the back lines, you can see that uh, Wish is going to get out into place over here, but they will hold down S4. He will fall. Buyback coming out now from Necroforce. You can see Nico, baby. He's waiting patiently. He's waiting for a Crota or, or something, but he's losing his teammate left and right. His lip also will fall. They can't do any. Too much lockdown. Yeah, they, they, I mean, they can't hurt anybody. Like, the only way, the only heroes they can kill is, like, Rubik and Willow at this point in the game, unless they catch, like, some crazy crown. That you can't the DK. I mean, he's trying, definitely. He's got the BKB up, so he doesn't get forced into his own chronosphere, but uh, it's just, where's your damage? Where's your damage? I'm not seeing it. The snowball coming through, and they just eradicate Hanskin. And S4 has, again, not been allowed to really play this game. The GG gets home. Right, they just... Brought this aggression, got these really nice engagements, they had a great draft, and...
They just run over a line. I think a lot of points, maybe like the, the two mobility cores, the puck and the void, I think it got heavily countered from the way that Brain set up their draft, even from like the start. They set up with this ET, then they follow up with Willow just because it counteracts so well, and then they actually pick the void into a lot of these stuns. And